Here at Brownells, we get a lot of questions about choke tubes from customers. So I thought I'd take a few minutes, kind of run you through what a choke tube is and why you might want a particular choke tube. Um, these are Carlson choke tubes here. A lot of them look the very same on the outside, but on the inside, they're different diameters. What a choke tube does is it'll squeeze down the shot column as you hit the end of your barrel on your shotgun. And that determines how big your pattern is at a given distance. Now at the end, I've got a cylinder bore here. This is the same diameter as your shotgun barrel is throughout. That means there's no constriction at the end. So if you're shooting an old style slug, or if you need something to open up quickly, like a police shotgun with buckshot, you do cylinder bore. On the other extreme, if you're hunting turkey, this turkey bore, or this turkey tube here is about as tight as you can go with a shotgun. And this holds the shot column just incredibly tight over a long distance. So if you're shooting at a small target, like a head and neck of a turkey, this is what you want to do the job. There's lots of stops in between. I've got cylinder, improved cylinder, modified. Um, this is a turkey tube also. Looks just like all the rest, except it's not as long, just like these two are. How you choose your choke tube depends on the activity you're doing. For something you have to shoot close up, you want a wider choke tube. You want a, a, open, a more open choke tube. If uh, you're shooting at birds that fly at a distance, you probably want something a little more closed, like this modified. It's great for pheasant hunting, for example. Once you decide what constriction you want for your tube, um, you gotta decide which one fits your gun. Sometimes it's not obvious. If you have an older shotgun that was modified by a gunsmith instead of the factory, even if it's a Winchester, it may not be a wind choke. It may have rim chokes, true chokes, what have you in there. Be sure to take one of your tubes into your gunsmith and have them check it out if you're not sure. Otherwise, if you got a new gun, no problem. Your, your owner's manual will tell you exactly what fits it. Uh, another word of caution, just because you have a Benelli doesn't mean every Benelli tube will fit it. There's more than one pattern of those, just like Browning has its Invector and Invector Plus. So be sure you know what you're getting. And when in doubt, take a tube out, take it over to your dealer so we can look at it. So if you're shooting steel, tungsten, bismuth, or any of the other specialty loads, be sure the tube you choose is rated for that particular type of ammunition. Now there's a lot of other choke tubes out there we, uh, we're not going to get into right now. These are just the basic tubes. But if you have questions on some of those specialty tubes, like the coyote tubes, for example, give us a call on the tech line. We'll be glad to help you out. And remember, if you buy it from us, it'll be backed by our 100% unconditional forever satisfaction guarantee. Thanks for watching. See you next time.